Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT. In today's class, we are going to learn about Arduino for loop, Arduino while loop, do while as well, and Arduino switch case. Okay. Now let's see one by one. So we might have already came across all these kind of loops. Okay, in the any kind of programming, right? Okay. So especially for loop also is applicable in the Arduino programming as same, which we have already seen previously in the other programming languages. Okay. So the statements inside the curly brackets under or for loop are executed repeatedly according to the specified condition. An increment counter in the for loop is used to increment or decrement the loop repetitions. So increment means it will be somewhat like I plus plus or decrement means it will be somewhat like I minus minus. So generally the syntax of a for loop will be for in the bra brackets, we will be having initialization condition as well as increment or decrement. Okay. And the flower braces will be open within the flower braces. There will be statements. Okay. And we also need to uh, write a statement in order to execute the loop. So for i equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. Okay, initialization i equal to 0, i less than 5 is the condition, i plus plus. So according to this condition, uh, the loop will be executed for the 5 times. Okay, so the value of uh, i will be from 0 to 4. Okay, so suppose initially how much it is i equal to 0, right? So i equal to 0 means i is obviously less than 5. That means if at all the i is obviously less than 5, it should get incremented, okay? So i plus plus means it goes to the 1, okay? So till uh, i less than 5, it satisfies i less than 5, okay? It keeps on repeating such that the value of i will be from 0 to 4, okay? Suppose let's see a small example in order to print a message like Arduino for 15 times, okay? So we are uh, seeing a small uh, example of a program for using an for loop. So int i using an integer data type with a variable i. And in the void setup, we have uh, uh, declared the uh, for uh, uh, loop condition for i is equal to 0, i less than 15, i plus plus, okay? So, so for these many times, 15 times, okay? So we need to print Arduino, okay? So in the void loop, so for how we have given, we have given initialization condition increment, see here, initialization i equal to 0, condition i less than 15, i plus plus. So almost 15 times the Arduino need to be uh, uh, print on the serial monitor. So here we have given right serial dot begin with respect to 9600 baud rate. So in the serial monitor, Arduino need to uh, be printing okay so this is how the output looks Arduino will be printing for multiple times almost 15 times in the serial monitor okay coming to the Arduino while loop so it is also similar to uh, other programming languages the while loop is a conditional loop that continues to execute the code inside the parenthesis until the specified condition become false so once the condition is determined with respect to while, okay, it will be having a code or a set of statements within the flower braces, okay, and it keeps on running until that particular statement becomes false. So we let's see an example over here. Initially, int a is equal to zero, and we have uh, seen a serial begin serial uh, uh, monitoring with respect to nine thousand six hundred border. While a is less than 5, until the a value is less than 5, it will be keep on printing what serial.println welcome to Arduino. So welcome to Arduino need to be print uh, until the value of a is less than 5. So in order to check the value of a, we have also declared over here a is equal to a plus 1. Every time we are incrementing the value of a with plus 1. Okay. So so till the condition a is less than 5, it keeps on printing welcome to Arduino. So this is how you can see it in the serial monitor. This is how the output is achieved. Okay. Next comes do while. Okay. So 
it is uh, this uh, working of the do while is almost similar to the while loop okay but uh, the condition inside the do while will be executing at least once okay so once the condition is tested at end of the loop instead of the beginning okay so almost the syntax will be like this do uh, in the flower braces we will be having some set of statements and while with respect to condition so whatever is there in the do flower braces that will be at least executed for a single time at least once remaining it goes to the while condition till that particular condition becomes false that particular loop keeps on repeating okay that is how a do while works it is almost somewhat similar to while okay now coming to the Arduino switch case okay so switch, switch case is also one of the famous uh, logics we will be applying in several programming languages so this switch case controls the flow of program by executing the code in various cases there will be several cases if this is the case this should be the output otherwise it will be jumping to the another case okay so a switch statement compares a particular value of a variable with other statements in another cases okay as i said there will be multiple cases with several statements and it will be compared with one another okay so at whichever case the statement gets true that will be displayed remaining all the cases will be neglected okay so when the statements in a case matches the value of a variable the associated code with that particular case gets executed okay so it's the syntax will be somewhat like this switch with some variable in the flower braces we will be having cases case one case two case three till some n number of cases okay so for after each and every case you will be having a break that means we are terminating that particular case up to there okay so in which case that particular uh, switch gates uh, gets the true value or the true okay statement okay that case will be shown as an output okay so see see this is a, a flow diagram of a switch case let me show you see switch conditional statement first it goes to case one if the case one has become true okay the code or the statements which is present in the case one will be executing and it goes to the termination point or the stop point if that particular case one becomes fall it goes to the case two okay again the if the case two is true the logic of the case two is true the code or the statements present in the case two uh, will be executed and again the program stops if again the case two gets false statement okay or failed okay it goes to the next forwarded case like that how many cases we have those many cases will be executed until uh, we have a true uh, condition okay so this is how the cases will be done okay see this is a simple uh, program so let's see over here we have a void setup with a serial uh, uh, begin 9600 baud rate and we are considering int a is equal to 1 okay so here we are already given int a is equal to 1 now we are considering cases so switch of a okay so case 1 means in case 1 we are trying to print case 1 matches in case 2 we are trying to pin case 2 matches okay if the value of a is 1 case 1 should uh, print that particular uh, data case one matches if the value of a is two the case two need to uh, project its output if the value of a is three the it should print the case three whatever the quoted uh, data is there and it keeps on going okay or if at all it's a default value default need to matches okay so as the a is equal to one what should be print here the variable matches with the value of case one so case one matches that should be printed on this particular serial monitor this is how the output looks case one matches so this is how a switch case program can be 
consider